assailants burst into a large concert hall in Russia's Moscow overnight, shooting at the crowds, killing at least 60 people and injuring at least 145 others. Blasts were heard post the shooting. Crocus Hall, the venue where the attack occurred, is currently on fire. Helicopters have been flown in to douse the flames. The roof has also partially collapsed. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack in a message posted on Telegram, and one suspect has been detained. Now, this attack comes days after Russia's President Vladimir Putin won the elections in a landslide victory. It's the deadliest attack seen in Russia in recent years. Meanwhile, Ukraine has categorically rejected any allegations that they were involved in this attack, and the Moscow mayor, Sergei Sobyanin, has called the attack a huge tragedy. The United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, and the French President, Emmanuel Macron, have also condemned the attack. Now remember, this incident occurred overnight, this terror attack, which is what state authorities are investigating it as. One suspect has been detained, but as per screen grabs, which were taken reportedly on concert goers' phones and mobiles, there are reportedly more than there is reportedly more than one individual who's involved in this multiple people multiple assailants had stormed into the hall now we're crossing over to my colleague rishab to get us more on this uh, rishab what is the current status do we know whether the flames have been doused yet uh i think you can come back with the question please absolutely rishab would you be able to let us know what the current status at crocus hall is do we know whether the flames have been doused so what we know right now, that yeah, definitely the flames have been doused, but the attack has killed 60 while over 140, uh, for that matter, 145 people have been reported injured by the Russian security agency FSB. ISIS has taken the responsibility, remember ISIS, when world thought that this organization will die a slow death after uh, US killed Baghdadi a few years ago. But this attack in Russia is something that has reignited the fear of ISIS in the world. Remember, uh, uh, Putin and uh, ISIS have been at loggerhead for a, for more than a decade now. Remember, ISIS have been fighting al-Assad regime in Syria, while Putin have very strongly backed al-Assad regime in Syria. And now what we are seeing in Russia, that too, within days of Putin uh, re getting re-elected as the president of the Russian Federation is something that has sent chills uh, to uh, the world leaders, Prime Minister Nain Modi being the first world leader to condemn the attack while the West still investigate that how and what happened in Russia. Uh, Prime Minister has very clearly stated that we condemn uh, the terror attack and stand with Russian Federation and its people in this uh, hour of grief. Uh, apart from that, uh, if we talk about this, whole attack, you know, this happened in a very Western way. We have seen mass shooting taking place in U.S., in Canada, in Mexico. But the way this happened in Russia, uh, you know, unknown gunmen entering a concert hall and opening fire, this initially looked like a lone wolf uh, attack. But now since ISIS has taken the responsibility, it uh, shows much more than what uh, me, you know, meets to I initially. Now we'll have to wait and understand how this attack took place, how the, the gunman sneaked in with the gun in the uh, concert hall. This all subject to investigation that we follow. Absolutely. Rishabh, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us that latest update on the attack in Moscow. Now,